I still feel like I just got here, but at the same time, it's like, it's gone, it's right here, last season. Ron, you said the uh, weekend that the season is going to play off. Can you that? Basically, that just speaks in terms of we're, we're trying to establish the line of scrimmage every time we play. Like, obviously, the offense, offense does that, but on defense, we want to do that now. We want to take the line of scrimmage. We want to control the game and be aggressive. Who do you think is ahead right now, offense or defense? I'm going to say defense. I'm biased. <laughs> Down those, those we, we, trust me, yeah, I'm biased. Defense, I'm always going to say defense. Jim Knowles says he wants a top five defense. When you hear those expectations, what does that mean to you? Uh, to us, we can't really look at the expectations. You know, every day we got to come in and work and just lay the, lay the groundwork. We got to build our house. And we, like I said, we're starting over, so it starts with the foundation. And every day we're just working on the little things. And we'll focus on the results when they come. Right now, we're just focused on the process. Physicality was a big topic of conversation this offseason. I'm sure you guys heard that. Now that you got a spring under your belt, week in camp, do you guys feel more physical than you did last fall? Oh, most definitely. Uh, we've been working on. We, we took we took that to heart. You know, this is Ohio State. I feel like we, 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 that's our brand. We're physical. So this offseason, like I said, been one of the hardest offseasons I had since I've been here. And we we definitely established that physicality back. And like I said, it's showing week one here in camp. So I definitely feel. Like Where are you working at right now? Uh, I play Mike and Sam. Uh, are, Sam is a kind of a new position for you. How are you? How's that going for you? Oh, uh, it's going great for me. It's going great for me. Coach Noah's done a great job of teaching teaching me the position, and I, I, I feel comfortable there right now. So I like it. Is this a fun defense for a linebacker? Oh, uh, most definitely. It's very fun. Like I said, it's, it's so variable. Uh, the offense can't really tell where we're at sometimes. And like I said, we're just attacking. Like a lot more downhill, a lot of blitzes, a lot, a lot of everything. So. Is, is there something for everybody to do? Like all of these, you've got a lot of linebackers. Yeah. They only be playing two of them at a time. Is there something for everybody to do, do you think? Yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a variable defense. Like uh, It's more than a 4 2 5 in a sense. So, like I said, it's something for everybody to do. If you can, I feel like Coach knows, he's reiterated with us that the best players are going to play. So, if you can play, you're going you're gonna to be on the field. Coach Knowles talked about moving guys from safety to corner, safety to linebacker. Is that part of the variability position? Yes, and, and linebacker to rushing the passer. Like it's, it's like I said, it's a lot of variability. We heard a, a chip lost his black stripe today. Just wondering um, what you've seen from him, how, how quickly you think he could contribute, and what your impressions are of him in, in general coming into the program. Uh, being honest, man, Chip's one of probably one of the most athletic people I've like, seen come through this facility already being here as an offseason. Uh, he's fast and strong. Uh, I'm excited to see him play. I feel like he's made a great transition over from running back to linebacker. Like I said, I'm excited to see him play. What's he look, does he look like a linebacker now? Oh, most definitely. Did he I look like see a linebacker that first day? Yeah, go ahead, Jeremy. Yeah, he already looked like a linebacker. He looked even more like with Coach Mick now. He's, he looks crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's jacked up for sure. So when you look him in the eye, he's got that BB. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got that look for sure. When you look in the mirror uh, right now, what's the look you get back? Oh, man, like. I've been through so much, so when I look at myself, I see myself as a warrior. That's how I feel about myself, man. Just every day, like I said, coming out here and giving to this team, giving my all to this team. So I, I view myself as a warrior. Is it a sense of not this year win? I mean, what, what, what's your mantra, I guess? You know? Yeah, it, for me, it's a matter of when. You know, uh, I'm following God's plan. It's not my plan, it's God's plan. So like I said, I just come in every day and focus on the process. I can't worry about the results. It's going to come in and come. Did you take anything from Justin Hilly's Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, Hilly, uh, like I said, when he was here, he just showed like his dedication to this program, and, and those guys, you know, being around those guys, I, I kind of picked up on that. That sometimes it's bigger than you. It's about the program, and when I committed to Ohio State, I realized that like I committed to a team, and like, that's why that's why I'm stuck. I stay here because I, I love this team so much. So. Sometimes it's bigger than you. And like I said, I'm still focused on me, but in the same sense, like I love, I love my brothers around me, so I'm all, I'm all for the team. How hard is it to maintain that perspective? Because I mean, obviously you want to be playing, you want to be doing that. How hard is that to Yeah. Uh, like I said, it was tough. It was tough last year, but like I said, the love, the love of the brotherhood that plays such a big, big role in that. Like I said, I love these guys. But I don't want to be nowhere else. Roger, how important is it for you specifically? I know you're talking a lot about the team, but to go out with this defense back to where it was when you were freshman? Uh, it's big. Like, that's been the goal since this offseason started. Like, that's the goal. We're going to get back to playing silver bullet football, all of us. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to take, from top to bottom, it's going to take everyone. So, like I said, we, when we come out here on this field, everybody got to get their very all. 
our mindset is we want to be the number one defense in the country. Obviously, we have expectations and talk is cheap, but every day when we come out here and we work, we have to work like we're the number one defense in the country. George, can I ask you some best of the linebacker room stuff? Who's the fastest linebacker? I think it's Chip. Chip? Might be Chip, yeah. Who's the strongest? Strongest? I'm going with me. Got to vote for yourself. Yeah. Who's the like the football smartest? The guy who just has the best football, football smartest. Right now, uh, we got oh man. When it comes to smartest, it's, it's so many. You got me. You got Tommy. You got Cody. Like, we, we're students at the game. I feel like when, when you talk to the linebacker room, I feel like that's something like we all we all watch film. So that seems important. Yeah, right? yeah well, especially definitely. with the new defensive coordinator and stuff. Yeah, you got a lot sure. of guys in your room who know what's up. right? Yeah, for sure. Who's the funniest? Funniest. <laughs> uh, we, we're a serious group, but I would say the funniest is probably CJ. CJ, okay. CJ Hicks, he's funny. He's so funny you, dude. Not you Tommy. said you're a serious group. Like, what's it like? You got a lot of guys. You yeah. got a lot of guys who want to play. You got a lot of good football players. It's a serious group. Like, in the meeting room, what's it? What's it like in there? What's the vibe like in there? Ah, uh, the vibe. Because knows he he plays music the whole the whole meeting. Like, it's it's a lot more relaxed. Like, he plays music the whole meeting. We we have fun in there. Like, it's, it's laughs and jokes. It's not. All serious, but like I said, we're still about our business at the same time. When you, you've been here a long time, you've played different positions, you've had different coordinators. Where is your football knowledge right now? How, like, how much have you learned about the game? Uh, I've, I've learned a lot. I've been blessed to have some, you know, some great coaches. Yeah, Coach Davis, Coach Washington, now Coach Knows. So they've always, you know, been big and teaching me the game. So like I said, I thank all three of those coaches, and I definitely think I have a lot of football knowledge. What is different about Coach Knows' style of teaching? coaching yeah. that, you know, it's not, I'm not necessarily getting to say this guy was good, this guy was bad, but what is what is different that you picked up on from getting the message across? Uh, I would just say, like, he just has an unorthodox style of coaching. Like, like I said, he plays music during the meetings. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, all my years of football, I've never had a coach do that. But, like I said, he know how to basically teach to the players when we, like, still having fun at the same time. Like, it's enjoyable. Like, we're loving, we're loving it. We're loving learning the defense. Love learning about Notre Dame and our next opponents. Like, he's making it fun. So is the music designed to make you focus? I mean, how what have, what have you figured out about that madness? Uh, I mean, what, if you find you're more focusing on what he's saying because the music's playing, go ahead. I would say, yeah, definitely. For me, individually, yeah. I, I, at first, I'm like, all right, is music playing? But at the same time, Coach is talking, so... You definitely find focus when you uh, listen to the coach. And like I said, we've been playing games, like we've been doing it all, trying to learn the defense. Like we've been doing a lot of cool stuff. Like, who wants to be a millionaire while learning the defense? Like it's cool. Who won that one? Uh, who won it? I think it was a tie between all three of all three positions. Okay. Like trivia. Yeah. How different does Cody look now that his shoulders? Help? Yeah. Uh, he looks great. Uh, he had a great off season. He looks stronger. He looks uh, faster, bigger. Uh, I'm excited to see Cody work. You were with him last year when he was struggling, he was just trying to play through it. How, yeah. how hard was that for him, and what do you think of how he, how he did? Oh, man, like, the, the defense as a whole, we, we had a lot of struggles. Physically, mentally, like, it was a lot of stuff. And just to see, like, the guys, like, it just speaks to the, the – speak volumes to the, this program and the kind of guys Coach Day recruits. Like, we have tough guys. And just to see Cody overcome those obstacles and see how he's bouncing back now, it's great. It's great to see. So, Roger, do you just see a different level of confidence – Backer room than you've seen the past couple years? Oh, most definitely. Uh, confidence from top to bottom. Like I said, Coach knows this. The way he's taught us, we, we feel confident and we're ready to go play. For you personally, I mean, do you feel like you have an extra level of confidence than you've had the past years? Oh, most definitely. This is uh most confident I've felt in a long time. You know, it's been, like I said, I've had my, my obstacles and things of that nature. But like right now, I'm in a great mental space and I'm ready to go. What is it that makes you feel that extra confidence? Uh, it all confidence comes from the work you put in during the off season. And like I said, I put in a lot of work this off season. And like I said, every day I'm chopping wood, just going out there, putting in the work every day, and not focused on the results, it's more so the process. So. Is there something you realized maybe last year that you had to do different this year? Yes, most definitely. What's that? Uh, for me, like I said, sometimes you gotta block out the outside noise. For me personally, that's what it is. Is it different than a position coach who's also defensive coordinator? So I know. Different having a position coach who's also over the whole defense. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, we're, we're kind of getting information from the head guy. He's our position coach, so it's, it's a lot different. Does he get into the fact that uh, he's, as he stated to us, he not only wants, wants to make the quarterback uneasy about what he's seeing, he wants to make the offensive coordinator on the other side 
not understand what's coming and stuff. Does he get into that much with you guys about how he wants to play those mind games with the people across the Yes, most definitely. Line. Like I said, everything. Come up. Go ahead. Yeah, everything he teaches us, he teaches us the why behind it. Really? So, yeah. yeah, like I said, he teaches us like we're going to do this. This is why we're doing it. And like I said, he's a great teacher. He's one of the best teachers I've been around so far. So he does a great job of like helping us understand why we're doing something and when we're going to do it. Have you seen it work out on the practice? Oh, yes. With the so called number one offense in the country. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> I take that on a, bit, on a bit of a non-football question. Um, you talked about outside noise. With NIL having been now a full year, how have you embraced it? What have you learned with a full year of embracing that? Because you have been one of the leaders on, at least from my uh, point of view, about NIL. How's it been for you? Uh, NIL has been great for me. Uh, you know, I'm using it as an opportunity to not just look for the quick money, but actually build a brand. You know, for me, I personally feel like all, all college football players, one day your name is going to be irrelevant unless you're, you know, the CJs and trades of the world. Like one day is your name going to be irrelevant. For, so for me, I'm building a brand outside of my name that's, that I can, you know, continue to work on even after football. And I'm just using NIL as an opportunity to get that going. What tools do you use to keep, I guess, your name relevant in a sense? How do you, who do you reach out to? What tips do you learn from? Do you have any mentors? Anything you'd like to share about that? Yeah, I, I have a great mentor, uh, Zach Beeb and Ed Brown uh, with NIL Management. And they do a great job of, teaching us how to, you know, be businessmen off the field, you know, it's not, we're not just football players, you know, we have other aspects in life as well that, you know, we have to use and grow and learn while we're in college, so those, those have been my mentors. Yeah, that's one more non-football question about the music. Does Jim Knowles have a favorite song? Man, he, he likes everything. It's crazy. You know, he knows everything. You'd be surprised the kind of music he knows. <laughs> Mike said one more question like 10 questions ago. Now one more question. That's it. Who's got it? What, what's the genre of music he's playing? Yeah, it's something. It's something we like. He like asked us, like, "What's the, what's the artist of the day?" Roll from there. Let me ask you a football question. Coach Day said he wants at minimum a top ten defense. What's your standard? Uh, my standard and the way we work, I feel like we should we aiming for number one. That's the goal. And like I said, that's we're not looking at the results, but the way we work and the, the how hard we work. That's obviously if you're gonna work hard, you might as well go for the top spot. So it does. It does sound like. Without disparaging the old regime, have a lot of faith in Jim Rose and this Just like I said, he's he's giving us his all, so we gotta give our all to him. And like I said, that comes with just building relationships through the work and the training we put in this off season.